I think it'd be helpful for the listeners just to, you know, just to know how does Bitwise compare to Three Arrows Capital and Celsius? And was any of this a shock to the two of you? It was definitely shocking. Uh, I, you know, I think that, look, the, the unwinding of UST and Luna was not all that shocking. Um, I think there was a lot of people, you know, in the months leading up to to that uh, that implosion that were, that were kind of expecting something like that to occur. So I don't think that that was that unexpected. The, the fallout and the, um, I guess, hand in the cookie jar-ness that occurred thereafter in the unwinding of all that was a little bit surprising, at least, at least for me, um, especially with some of these bigger players. I was disappointed to see the, the uh, you know, level of risk they took, especially when it exposed customer and client funds. Um, so yeah, I would say it was a little bit su- surprising how it all shook out and still some of the things we're finding out, uh, even, you know, this week through the earnings releases are, are a little bit, a little bit shocking, but, uh, it just highlights the difference between centralized finance, um, decentralized finance and the importance of distinguishing between the two. Uh, but, but, uh, but yeah, I'll let Matt, I guess, talk through how Bitwise is a little bit, uh, different from, from those, those firms like 3AC and Celsius and others. Yeah, I would add it, it, it was shocking at the time. Of course, in retrospect, it makes all sorts of sense, right? During any great bull market, people let down their guard. Uh, if you think about the real estate market, you know, during the great financial crisis, of course, giving people loans with no income verification and no credit documents was a bad idea. And yet there was a whole industry on Wall Street dedicated to that, right? And it looks insane in retrospect. So, of course, extending uncollateralized loans to to a hedge fund and three arrows capital for billions of dollars was a terrible idea. But during the bull run, am I surprised it happens? In retrospect, not. Bitwise is different from something like three arrows capital in that we're a unlevered long only investor. So investors give us cash, they give us $100 and we buy $100 of Bitcoin, Ethereum uh, and other crypto assets. And so we're not exposed to sort of the, uh, the blow up risk that you see it's leverage and poor lending practices that lead to catastrophe, not in crypto, but in all financial activities. It's the oldest financial story in the world. It's happened a hundred times in the history of modern finance. Um, and it happened in crypto, but Bitwise doesn't take on levered positions. And so as a result, we don't have that kind of uh, risk. Right, but it's not uncommon to see like 2X, 3X levered ETFs. Uh, does Bitwise offer any of those, or is that something in the pipeline, maybe in the future, do you think? We, we do not at this time. Um, levered ETFs uh, can be interesting trading vehicles. Bitwise right now is more focused on sort of uh, long-term investors, and for that perspective, leverage is a, is a dangerous tool. It, it's not to say we won't ever use leverage in a portfolio, ever. Uh, we might, we haven't, but, but I don't want to foreclose that opportunity. Um, but we won't be, you know, YOLOing into 10x levered exposures into the 50th largest asset. Uh, that's that's not our style. That makes sense. That's safe for your investors as well. It, it seems like it seems like your focus is really just to help individuals get access to this market because it can be very complicated, right? Like opening up. You know, transferring your assets from Coinbase to a MetaMask wallet and then, you know, connecting to the Uniswap and making that trade. It's it's very complicated. And so I, th- that's kind of where I see at Bitwise is fitting in uh, for the most part. Uh, th- I mean, would, do you agree with that? That's exactly right. We make it easy for traditional investors to safely access the crypto market. And they take a lot of comfort that we've been doing it for five years. We've lived through two bear markets. We've lived through forks. We've claimed forks. We've handled airdrops. They don't know how to do any of that. So we abstract away that complexity and get them exposure to what is on an unlevered basis, the best performing asset class in the world over the last three, five and 10 years by a large margin. Right. So uh, for, for traditional investors, I know that Ethereum's, you know, 80 or 90 percent recovery since the market bottom in June is like ho hum in crypto world. But for a traditional investor used to six percent a year, that's a spectacular return. So we, we help them get exposure to crypto by abstracting away the complexity. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's it's well put. That's our that's our value prop. What are some 
Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Ryan. Oh, sorry. I was just going to add to that. I think the other element of it is that uh, spoke a little bit earlier about how advisors um, are, are only allocating about, you know, I don't know, maybe 5% of their portfolio at the most to, to crypto. Um, that's about, if you think about the amount of like mental capacity they have to follow the crypto market and evaluate crypto assets and subsectors of the crypto market, and then choose individual winners like they just don't have the mental capacity uh or not mental capacity i'm sorry but like you know the time to do that um i mean you know as as being full-time in the space i could spend and i have spent just countless hours diving into nft projects and in discord and still you know have chosen the wrong ones many times and so i think the other elements um of what we're trying to do is, is like hey if you're an advisor and you're excited about nfts and you want exposure to the nft space great there's an nft index uh same with DeFi. you know same with same with the top just 10 kind of crypto assets as a whole um if you have a lot of bitcoin great x bitcoin just trying to create that kind of you know directional exposure versus helping you know helping pick individual assets which as we all know in this space is very 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 tough